Within the North Carolina Cancer Hospital, we have a cancer hospital infusion pharmacy, which is up on the third floor right next to our main infusion center. Uh, that pharmacy has a talented group of oncology pharmacists and technicians um, who verify all of our chemotherapy and immunotherapy orders. Um, they prepare the product and then we'll dispense that product to our nursing staff. Now one of the issues with the medications we prepare is that they are often considered hazardous medications, which means that if there was exposure, chronic exposure for healthcare workers, it could um, result in reproductive toxicity or could be carcinogenic to those employees. Because our um, employees are working directly with these hazardous drugs, we put several safety features in place, um, one of which is closed system transfer devices. These are devices that have been approved through the FDA and the main goal of the device is to prevent exposure of healthcare workers to the hazardous drugs that we're either preparing um, or administering. And so what it does is it keeps any of that hazardous drug contained within the closed system. So for example, it may be within a vial, within a syringe, and prevents any residue, meaning any liquid or aerosol, from getting out of um, that closed system. Now, what researchers had thought would be possible then is if there are studies showing that nothing can get out of that closed system, that potentially it would also prevent any microorganisms from getting inside the system. Currently, there are USB standards that state for a single dose vial, um, you have about six hours to use that vial, and after that, you'd have to discard that vial. What researchers wanted to evaluate is if you use a closed system transfer device, could you prevent any microbial ingress from getting into the vial or into the system? And could you extend your um, usability of that vial beyond the standard six hours? Our drug vial optimization program was implemented in 2011. And from a process standpoint, our technicians um, will pull a new vial when a, a drug is um, ordered after the pharmacists are verified. Uh, they'll go ahead and use the closed system transfer device. They'll prepare the medication. And then after the pharmacist checks that medication, uh, that partial vial is then able to be used. And the next time that drug comes into the clean room, the technician would pull that partial vial and make sure that we're using the full vial. Um, before they open a new vial. Really for the closed system transfer devices, we're using them for two reasons. One is to um, prevent that exposure of hazardous drugs to the staff, but also trying to protect, protect that product from being exposed to any microorganisms. Total results, um, since we've gone live in 2011, we've actually seen a 94% reduction of waste each year from our original numbers. So what that equates to is saving really 94% of our entire chemotherapy budget. So if we had not done drug well optimization, our drug budget would actually be $43.8 million higher than it currently is to date. The overall cost savings that we've seen with the program has really allowed us to invest in other aspects for our patients and other programs and services that have helped all of our cancer patients at UNC.